Hi, in this video we will use Microsoft SQL Server and simulate a real-time data. The reason why we are doing is that uh, normally when we are learning Power BI, it is difficult for us to get access to real-time data set, right? So what we could do is we will try to write a small uh, SQL script uh, in uh, SQL Server Management Studio and then uh, we will try to load the data into a table and also subsequently we'll try to use power bi page refresh um, auto refresh option and then um, so that the data will be loaded every second or so so we'll be using uh, my own uh, data set uh, which is a fitbit data set and it has seven columns as you can see we'll use the min and max dates uh, in our sql script and let us try to open the sql server management studio and first uh, we will create a database and name it as fitbit op appropriately and then once we do that uh, we have a fitbit uh, database you can refresh it here and do it and next step is we will try to import the flat file which is a csv file i will leave the link uh, in the description box below change the elevation data type to float uh, that way we have the data and once we do that and uh, once we do that we have our um, flat file table in our database you can refresh it and see here we have that uh, fitbit uh, data set uh, as a table in our sql server but the next step is we'll try to create a small uh, sql um, server script Uh, we also know the logic that we want to load this particular data every second as highlighted on the screen so um, we'll just try to use that and uh, once we uh, do that we have that data coming in um, from the sql server the next step logically is that you go to a new page and use the page refresh option and uh, instead of the default change the auto refresh to uh, make it as one second uh, so that uh, your data is coming in every second into the table in SQL Server and also in your da dashboard if you create any visuals those uh, that page is also refreshed every second so this way we are kind of simulating real-time data right all those visuals are changing because the data is coming from the sql server every second and also auto page refresh is also there so that is kind of giving you an impression that it is a real-time data thanks for watching and see you in the next video